Here we are at the entrance to the first tee. This is where the players will get dropped off, ready to hit their first tee shots. They'll walk through the tunnel where you can see photos of past players from the Solheim Cup. This is where the players will walk out of the tunnel and step onto the first tee. As you can see, there's great big grandstands all around where there's going to be full of cheering fans. On Friday morning, this grandstand's going to be packed and it's going to be a great atmosphere for the players on the first tee. The first hole is one of the most exciting holes on the golf course. With a yardage of 306 yards, but with the downhill it plays around 270 yards to the front of the green. A lot of the longer hitters will be able to drive this green with their tee shots. Some players may decide not to go for the green. They'll lay up to this area and have around 45 yards to the pin. This leaves themselves in good position to make another birdie chance. Hole number three is a signature hole here at Des Moines Golf Club. It's a par three measured at 168 yards. It's one of the more interesting golf holes on the course. It has a very interesting green that has two tiers. The green is split into two sections with a bunker separating the middle of the green. Getting the right distance on this hole is key. As you can see, the green is split into two sections. When the pin is on the front of the green, this will give the girls plenty of birdie opportunities. When the pin position will be at the back, this is going to be the hardest pin of the week. If you come up slightly short when the pin's at the back, you're going to have a putt of some length. Let's take a look and see how it rolls. As you can see, that putt had quite a big right to left swing. Although, as you can see, leaving it below this hole isn't a bad leave. It gives you an opportunity of putting uphill and making par in this hole is a good score. Hey!